with everything in the news. 16, 8 on the go, let's stay on it, stay on it. He is going to be facing a lot of issues. What are you doing, man? Shut the f*** up, man! Dear Heavenly Father, be proud, whether it is our opinions, beliefs, on racism, the Confederate flag. I feel a little bit of fire. They're gonna put you in the back. You race your way to the front. Fire it up. You never know when something can go wrong. Oh no, man! Oh no! Racing is a dangerous sport. Dad aren't rich. He's a little rich, mother. Dad, stop. You gotta be good enough, fast enough. That race, it don't matter what color you are. That death factor has got to be in that man's head. Hey. Where's your national championship trophy at? This is where it all started. I started racing here when I was about seven years old. First time out here, I stuffed it right into that wall, nose first. Oh! Uh oh. He ran into the wall. <laughs> So I was a little nervous. Worst first day you could ever have in a race car. I just thought he did two laps and his racing career was over. I'm a football coach. I didn't know anything about cars. I can't change the oil in my car to this day, but it is something that he was going to have to do. Sitting here over the last few hours, we've done 279 laps. Racing is really a three-part equation. It's the driver, it's the car, and it's the crew chief. I'm the good looking one. Sort of left Bob in a hard spot right there. Brand new car and his kids made one lap in it and they paid all the money and everything for it. And there ain't no refunds on cars. You know, he took us under his wing. I think he kind of felt bad for us. 750 pounds, heavy. Yeah. Leroy is definitely the crazy mad scientist. I have trouble throwing away things because I say I may need it. Physically, they say I shouldn't be able to do what I do. I've broken more bones then I can remember with my loose hypermobility, I end up pulling them out of pocket. Yeah, hey, don't let it stop me. All right, go. For me, this is a all day, all night commitment. He cuts grass to go race. He sold his own personal car because he wanted to go racing. We're gonna run it out now. I've tried other things and Nothing's felt as natural, come as easily, made more sense as racing's been. Whenever you're ready, we're fired up, we'll roll them off. My daddy was a great driver. Right before daddy had passed away, he watched us. He says, he's too tight. You got a good driver, he runs good and fast, but you gotta free him up. I think we can stand to loosen it up a little bit more. From that day forward, we just kept making Hayden drive a looser and looser car. Never lie. Never lie. When you are loose, you're fast. Loose is that point before you start drifting and sliding tires. Your ass end's trying to come around and pass your front end. Really fast. It was almost like it was destiny. He just was almost like a prodigy at an early age. Racing is a dangerous sport. That death factor has got to be in that man's head. Now Hayden, I honestly believe he doesn't think about that factor at all. I think we're going to have a really good car. It's good to know we have a great team to support us along the way. You know, he's 18, but sometimes I think he acts like he's 30, you know, the way he talks and stuff. But he's always been like that, even as a kid. guys that you see on TV, he's raced against them, and he's beat them. Only thing holding him back is that, you know, his mom and dad aren't rich. There's probably times that he could, he could have went for wins, and, uh, you know, he, he chose not to because of the reality that he wanted to save the race car. 
Motorsports in general is a money-driven sport. Your performance, unlike any other sport, is heavily, heavily, heavily impacted by resources you have access to. But he races on less dollars than anybody he's racing against, and he's done it all his life. The last three or four years, we just didn't have the cars that our competitors had. I think he went nine races in 2018, and I think he had nine mechanical failures. Stuff that he's done with his equipment, not many people could do. There's not many people that could drive the cars that he's driven and still compete. It's sometimes disheartening to see that the best driver doesn't always get the best opportunities. I'm gonna be doing some cold calls. Everybody always tells me you're gonna get a thousand no's before you get your first yes. You know, not having gotten that first yes yet, it is kind of discouraging just to hear no, no, I'm sorry, we don't do this type of thing. Everyone tell you, you don't fit our criteria. Not a one person is gonna tell you, I'm not sponsoring you because you're black. This track we're going to, Franklin County, it has developed a little bit of a reputation of being like a secluded track. I don't talk about it a lot with Hayden unless he comes to me. I don't want to discourage him because, you know, this is what he loves to do. With everything in the news, he is going to be facing a lot of issues that we have to start talking about. You just need to look up the story of Wendell Scott. You'd have somebody draw the ace of spades, which means their job was during practice to go hit him and knock him out and put him out of the race. They draw the ace of spades on Wendell Scott at a mini track. I hope for the best in this situation. I don't want to be you know, treated differently for whatever reason. This is just country, man. This is backwoods guys, and these are grown men. These are guys, they don't like something you did to them on Saturday night. They're not gonna handle it the way the people at Charlotte and Atlanta handle it. You know, qualifying right off the bat, it was a little stressful. With past races, he would have to draw a number where they're gonna start. If there's 26 cars in the race, they always say, okay, you're 26. Week after week after week, he's starting last. I always tell him, you know, God gave you this talent for a reason. They're gonna put you in the back. You race your way to the front. Man, I'm impressed. We got a rocket ship. We were fast, fast enough to tie for with our teammate for the pole. Couldn't ask for anything more out of the qualifying run. Car was great. You looked fast, dude. The 12 car is one of these guys, right? Yeah, he's one of the, the last three races in a row. Here. You were coming on him, bro. Super excited with how it went. You know, we made a few adjustments, loosened up the car throughout the day, and it, it paid off. We were definitely one of the fastest cars on the track. All right, we got our yeah. drivers meeting. Yeah. We got our drivers meeting in just a few minutes. So. All right. Before we knew it, it was a torrential downpour, and I'm thinking to myself, we've worked too hard and get rained out. I was hoping for just a quick shower, but you know, it's, it's coming down really hard right now. The odds are definitely stacked against this race happening and finishing up today. I gotta take a quick second to shout out the fam at Old Spice for sponsoring this show. I got my Old Spice clinical sweat defense with 73 hour sweat protection. I'm smelling ready for anything. And that man Hayden Swank, he's ready for anything. So y'all better stay locked in, all right? I have your attention, please. Stock four drivers, return to your cars. We will resume this race. I was so relieved to hear that. It was, it was so great to know that we were going to get to race that weekend. Same goal. We just moved everything back about an hour. I'm glad you're not nervous, buddy. Please. Well, it's because he's got this. I know. I was definitely nervous. Yeah, it is. It's happening. 
Talk about it getting good here at Franklin County. Finish button. Look here. Yeah. You got me? Yeah. You got this. Yeah. Ah. You ready? You ready? At that point, it was all racing. Green flag is about to wave. Here we go, buddy. This is it. Green, green. We are underway. Hayden Swank, keep an eye on him at number four car. Second lap, two cars got together and they were all spinning and piling up right in front of me. We didn't hit anything in the process, so that was the best case scenario. Good job, good job, stop taking care of the car. That's the number one thing. We are resetting the field and we are starting over. I'm not here to win them over. I'm just here to win. Rolling, you know, they love you or hate you, they know you're there. And Swank now trying to close another 17, the keys machine. You make them take notice. Oh, no. Billy Keys about to get some company from Swank to the inside. He'll move for that spot and take that position away. Come on, baby. Go race, baby. He's in fourth place with him. He's back with the pack. Once we got caught up to the leaders, we were on their bumper. Be there, Ford. Come on, be there. sudden coming out of the turn I just don't have any power there's no tension in my gas pedal Getting lost on a dark night. he was in the gunfight of a top three run what a tough break for number four something a miss on his ride and he is done growing on just to realize I don't understand sympathize Sympathize my soul. I hope I'm finding the real thing. I can hold in my hands when believing in God. Third, I you had them. Son, you drove it. Guts out. I got dude that drove eight hours to race today. You get absolutely f by the 12 car, race control, and everybody else here. It's all right. I think it's really easy to get caught up on the result. What I doubt, you prove you can run with them and outrun them. You impress me a ton, I'll tell you that. We'll just go to the next one. That's all there is to it. Next time on Race. Oh, hey, Swank absolutely goes up in smoke. Might be a little bit of fire in there. Which is going to mean early mornings and a lot of late nights. Larry just sits. Probably wondering why I'm hitting you up. Oh, my bad. I didn't even. Come on, y'all just be sneaking up on me. All right, all right, all right. Just watch these videos right here, subscribe, and then we'll get back to the dancing. <laughs>